Hallo zusammen! It was a dream for quite a long time, many years to be precise, and now it became true. Yeah. For the first time ever I managed to attend Rock am Ring, the biggest rock festival in Germany. And that's why I'm gonna take you with me and show you some impressions on the campsite, the festival experience itself and all the awesome old and new pals that hung out with me there. Booking tickets for a major music festival like Rock am Ring should be done early enough, so we actually thought about getting tickets at the end of 2017. There are different ticket types and camping categories. In our case, we purchased the general festival ticket for all three days, which grants you access to the festival ground itself, and we also purchased a green camping ticket. There are various different types of campsites with different characteristics to them. Green camping basically means that you oblige yourself to get rid of all waste, you don't leave anything behind, all tents for instance. And it's also a bit more quiet at night, because there is a so-called Nachtruhe, a night silence or sleep silence period from 1am to 8am. Anyway, I headed off to my bro Vuku aka Get Germanized on May 30th, which was the Wednesday prior to Rock am Ring. Since I went by train, I couldn't carry too many things with me unfortunately, but I brought a Zelt, a tent, a Schlafsack, a sleeping bag, an Isomatte, a camping mat or sleeping pad, a Luftpumpe, a bicycle tire inflator or air pump, and various smaller things with me, well, pretty much the usual most basic things you need every day, shampoo and that kind of stuff. Luckily, Vuko had already bought most things prior to my arrival at his place, so we could focus on loading the car with everything, including other tents, a pavilion, camping chairs, food, beverages, etc. Well, uh, that is what I call a loaded car. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can't see it right now, but there, for instance. There, there. That's me, by the way. The reflection in the mirror that isn't a mirror. How poetic. Yeah. Um. Uh, um. Yeah, it, it's loaded. It's loaded. On the next morning, on Thursday, that is, we actually departed to Nürburg, which is the town where the festival takes place. To be even more precise, Rock am Ring, with the exception of two years, has always taken place at the Nürburgring, the Nürburg racing track, which is commonly known as a Formula One track to pretty much all Germans. And Nürburg translates to Nür Castle. The first Rock am Ring festival took place in 1985 and it has become the most prestigious, biggest and popular music festival in Germany, next to festivals like Hurricane or Wacken that is. And even though it's called Rock am Ring, Rock at the Ring, meaning the racing track, it's definitely not limited to pure rock. It also features metal bands, rather electronic music and even some hip-hop acts in addition. These acts are spread and play on three stages in total. The Volcano stage, which is the most well-known and main stage pretty much, the Bex Crater stage and the Alterna stage. Each year, for the past few years, from 70,000 to more than 90,000 people have attended the respective Rock am Ring and Rock im Park festival, which is the sister festival to Rock am Ring, you could say. It features pretty much the exact same lineup as Rock am Ring does, only in reverse or a different order. Coming back to our ride to Nürburg. We arrived at the campsite at around 2 pm, along with our mutual friend Jan. Erecting the tents and the pavilion took us quite some time, Mostly because it was really hot that day. Almost 30 degrees Celsius, which is equal to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Almost done. But oh boy, it's warm as hot. Warm as hot? Does that make sense? I don't think so. Three tents, basically. This is a two-person tent, so to speak. A family tent, actually. Uh, with two cabins to booths, I don't know how you call those, single tents combined, pretty much. And, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Pretty much right from the get-go, we got in touch with some of our camping neighbors, which led to many really, really cool and funny mornings and evenings with, well, lots of beer, 
barbecues, pancakes and whatnot. We also went to most shows together and without a doubt these relationships and time we spent together were an at least equally huge highlight for me as seeing some many great bands live there. So massive kudos to everyone involved. The bands, the festival management, all people I talked to, whether it was at the campsite or in front of the stages, my old and new pals and so on. I honestly didn't meet a single person whose company I didn't enjoy. And that means something. The whole experience was just phenomenal and I don't exaggerate when I say that this definitely was one of the best weekends of my life. Yet. But enough talking for now. Let's enjoy some more footage and impressions. Das ist Florian. Florian ist super. Hallo. Wow, und da verliert jemand Kirschen. Ich muss wirklich sagen, wir haben hier sehr nette Leute kennengelernt. Ja. Und wer seid ihr? Es hat ein bisschen lange gedauert mit dem Zelt im Nachhinein, aber gut. Ja, ja. Nee, ich mach sogar ein Video. Das ist wieder für den Vlog. Das dekadente Frühstück auf dem Campingplatz. So muss das sein. Ne? Da unten sind die Pancakes. Dann haben wir hier oben so einen schönen äh, Sandwich Maker. Ist schön, wie du mir die Arbeit abnimmst. Genau. Ja, ja. Ich wollte das alles gar nicht mehr. Dann haben wir so einen richtig schönen äh, Kaffee zum Morgen auch noch. Also, ne? Schön schon mit Limo auf dem Tisch. Also alles da. <lacht> Reicht jetzt, schmeckt auf jeden Fall anders. <lacht> Prost! You haven't seen it here because I didn't record it, but the first night from Thursday to Friday was intense. It was really intense. There was a huge thunderstorm raging around with many lightnings every couple of seconds and lots of wind, lots of heavy rain. The first half of Friday was quite rainy as well, so I decided to put on my raincoat. On Friday, June 1st, meaning the first day of the festival, we actually saw these bands live. Unfortunately, we only saw Andrew WK play one song, but it was his most popular one and it sounded really great. I really enjoyed Kalejon, although I didn't really know them all too well before. They play German metalcore. I'm definitely gonna check out more by them. Yeah, baby metal. I knew them before, they are quite a sick band in a positive way though. Uh, yeah, just see for yourselves, I guess. Ah. 
Jonathan Davis, the singer of Korn with his solo band, his solo material so to speak, which sounds pretty different to the usual Korn stuff, but not bad. It's more silent, it's a bit more, well, trippy, if that makes sense. Was pretty cool, yeah, it was pretty cool. Enter Shikari, another surprise for me because I wouldn't have thought that the audience went that crazy. That was mind blowing, it was a really really good energy and a fantastic show. Hollywood Undead, a bit more laid back metal, so to speak, crossover new metal, and I really enjoy them as well. They also got someone on stage to play guitar with them on one song, and they also played a few covers, for instance, Du Hast by Rammstein. Well, that was a very nice treat. A perfect circle. Oh boy, that really was a dream come true. I've always wanted to see Maynard live, especially with Tool, but also with a perfect circle. And the show was brilliant. And it was really different from pretty much any other show that I've seen at Rock am Ring this year, because for the most part, it was very atmospheric and, well, pretty magical, at least to me. Stone Sour. Well, I consider Corey Taylor a legend. And he's not only capable of throwing many water bottles into the audience, no, he actually can party with the audience together. The band really knows how to give a highly energetic show. And this was the perfect ending for our first festival day. <laughs> We actually thought about staying there and seeing Marilyn Manson as well, but we were pretty exhausted because we were standing pretty much directly in front of the stage from 2 p.m. to, I don't know, 12 p.m. So that was pretty crazy. And this is the end of the first out of two vlogs about Rock am Ring 2018. I mean, I could have put everything in one video, but then it would be like 30 minutes. And uh, no. So thanks for watching up until this point, and if you're interested in the other bands we saw, Muse, Foo Fighters, and the like, click here and check out the second vlog about Rock am Ring. Rock on, I'm your Vlog Dave, tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.